again, just like the previous video, sometimes doing SAD problems require your uh, ability to manipulate equations, to not solve for things directly, but just to figure out how to get one thing to look like another and also therefore to get the answer you need. So notice we're given x plus y over a minus b equals two thirds. And then we want to know what is nine x plus nine y over 10 a minus 10 b equal. So your first thought might be, might be, oh my gosh, I have four variables. How the heck am I supposed to get the value of each one in order to get, you know, x and then y and then a and b and plug them in? I mean, how am I supposed to do that? Well, the answer is you don't. There's no way to do that. And that's why the problem is designed this way. Remember, whenever you see something weird, that's usually a sign that there's going to be some kind of shortcut somewhere, some kind of, again, the 30 second solution. So let's see. Well, we know that x plus y equals 2. And we know that a minus b equals 3. Now I want to get this to look like 9x plus y, 9y over 10a minus 10b. Well, let's think about this. Let me multiply both sides by 9. Because if I do that, I'm not breaking any rules because I'm doing the same thing to both sides. And then I'm going to get the top to look like what I want it to look like. So I'm going to get 9x plus 9y equals 18 over 3. And we get a minus b on the bottom. Well, I want to get uh, 10 on the bottom, so let me just multiply both sides by 1 tenth. Right? Again, I'm doing the same thing to both sides, so I'm not breaking any rules. And in addition, uh, I'm getting 10 on the bottom, which is what I want. So I get 9x plus 9y over 10a minus 10b is equal to 18 over 30. And if I reduce that down, I'm going to get 3 fifths. Notice this equals exactly what I wanted, which was here. And what's equal? What equals three-fifths? And what do you know? That is choice E, and that is the answer. So again, sometimes the SAT is testing your ability to use the rules of algebra, which you know, which you use every day if you take a math class. Use those rules and apply them in a way that you're not used to, right? We, you would probably never see a problem like this in a math class, and that's the point. This is not a math class, but it is testing those abilities. So practice them, rely on them, learn them, know them in your sleep, and that will help you work through these kind of problems.